In the grand tapestry of human history, few narratives resonate as profoundly as the story of a humble carpenter from Mazaret, whose life and teachings would forever alter the course of civilization. Imagine a man who walked the dusty roads of ancient Judea, captivating hearts with parables of love and redemption, and challenging the entrenched norms of society with a radical message of compassion and grace. This man, known as Jesus of Nazareth, stands as a towering figure whose influence transcends time and borders. From the bustling streets of Jerusalem to the tranquil shores of Galilee, the echoes of his words continue to reverberate through the corridors of history, sparking debate, inspiring devotion, and shaping the beliefs of billions around the globe. His life, his teachings, and ultimately, his sacrificial death on a rugged cross have left an indelible mark on humanity, igniting faith, stirring controversy, and prompting profound reflection on the mysteries of existence. But who was this enigmatic figure, whose legacy continues to captivate hearts and minds centuries after his earthly sojourn? Join me on a journey through the life, teachings, and enduring impact of Jesus Christ, a journey that traverses the realms of history, theology, and human experience. Together, let us unravel the timeless tale of the carpenter's son, who became the savior of the world, inviting us all to ponder the depths of divine love and the promise of redemption. Embarking on our exploration of the life and teachings of Jesus Christ, we delve into the profound significance of his words uttered from the cross. From the poignant cries of agony to the declarations of forgiveness and trust, each phrase encapsulates the essence of his divine mission and the depth of his love for humanity. As we journey through these seven powerful statements, let us unravel the timeless wisdom and profound truths they hold, inviting us to contemplate the meaning of sacrifice, redemption, and the boundless grace of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The first statement attributed to Jesus on the cross, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do, mentioned in Luke 23 verse 34 encapsulates the essence of Jesus' ministry and teachings. Despite enduring excruciating physical agony, Jesus demonstrates unparalleled compassion and forgiveness toward those responsible for his crucifixion. This statement exemplifies Jesus' divine love and mercy, extending forgiveness even to his persecutors. It reflects his teachings throughout his ministry, where he emphasized forgiveness, compassion, and love for one's enemies, by asking for forgiveness on behalf of his tormentors, Jesus not only displays divine grace, but also reveals the profound depths of his character. Moreover, this statement underscores the ignorance of those involved in crucifying Jesus. Jesus acknowledges that they do not fully comprehend the gravity of their actions or the identity of the one they are crucifying. Despite their ignorance, Jesus pleads with God to extend forgiveness demonstrating his desire for reconciliation and redemption for all humanity. In essence, this statement serves as a powerful example of unconditional love and forgiveness, illustrating Jesus' ultimate sacrifice for the salvation of humanity. It challenges believers to emulate Christ's spirit of forgiveness and compassion in their own lives, even in the face of adversity and injustice. The second statement made by Jesus on the cross, Truly, I say to you, Today you will be with me in paradise, mentioned in Luke 23 verse 43, is a profound declaration of salvation and grace. Addressed to one of the criminals crucified alongside him, this statement showcases Jesus' limitless capacity for mercy and his ability to offer hope even in the darkest of circumstances. In this moment, Jesus extends the promise of salvation to a repentant criminal who acknowledges his own guilt and recognizes the innocence of Jesus. Despite the criminal's past transgressions, Jesus assures him of immediate entry into paradise, emphasizing the power of faith and the boundless nature of God's grace. This statement underscores the central theme of redemption present throughout Jesus' teachings, emphasizing that salvation is available to all, regardless of their past actions or circumstances. It reveals Jesus' desire for reconciliation and restoration, highlighting his role as the ultimate mediator between humanity and God. Furthermore, this statement challenges conventional notions of worthiness and righteousness, emphasizing the transformative power of faith and genuine repentance. It serves as a beacon of hope for believers, reminding them that even in their lowest moments, 
they can find forgiveness, restoration, and eternal life through their relationship with Christ. Overall, Jesus' words to the repentant criminal on the cross encapsulate the essence of his ministry, offering a message of hope, grace, and redemption that continues to resonate with believers throughout history. The third statement uttered by Jesus on the cross, Woman, behold your son. Son, behold your mother. Mentioned in John 19 verses 26 and 27, reflects Jesus' care and concern for his mother Mary, even in the midst of this suffering. Addressing Mary as woman was not a sign of disrespect, but a term of endearment, reminiscent of Jesus addressing her at the wedding at Cana. In this moment, Jesus entrusts the care of his mother to one of his disciples, traditionally believed to be John, symbolizing the formation of a new familial bond within the community of believers. This statement underscores Jesus' humanity and his commitment to fulfilling his familial responsibilities, even as he faces the agony of crucifixion. It also highlights the importance of community and mutual care within the Christian faith, as Jesus entrusts the well-being of his beloved mother to the care of his disciple. Moreover, by entrusting Mary to the care of John, Jesus expands the concept of family beyond biological ties, emphasizing the spiritual bond shared among believers as members of the body of Christ. This act exemplifies Jesus' teachings on love and selflessness, encouraging his followers to prioritize the needs of others and to cultivate a sense of unity and solidarity within the Christian community. In essence, Jesus' words to Mary and John on the cross serve as a poignant reminder of the importance of compassion, community, and familial love, even in the face of suffering and adversity. They demonstrate Jesus' profound concern for those he loves and his desire for their well-being, both in this life and in the life to come. The fourth statement attributed to Jesus on the cross, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Mentioned in Matthew 27 verse 46 and Mark 15 verse 34, is one of the most poignant expressions of human anguish and spiritual agony recorded in the Bible. This statement is profound in its implications as it reveals the depth of Jesus' identification with humanity and his willingness to endure the most profound sense of abandonment in order to fulfill the redemptive purpose of his sacrifice. It underscores the profound mystery of the Incarnation, where the Divine Son of God fully experiences the human condition, including feelings of isolation and forsakenness. Moreover, this cry from the cross demonstrates Jesus' solidarity with all who have experienced feelings of abandonment, rejection, or spiritual desolation. It offers comfort and reassurance to believers that even in their darkest moments, they are not alone, as Jesus himself experienced and understands their pain. Furthermore, this statement points to the fulfillment of prophecy, as Psalm 22 not only expresses feelings of abandonment, but also contains elements that foreshadow Jesus' crucifixion and the ultimate victory of God's redemptive plan. Thus, Jesus' cry from the cross serves as a reminder of the depth of this sacrifice and the profound mystery of God's love and redemption revealed through his suffering and death. The fifth statement made by Jesus on the cross, I thirst, mentioned in John 19 verse 28, while seemingly a simple expression of physical suffering, carries deep symbolic significance within the context of Jesus' crucifixion and his broader mission. On a literal level, Jesus' statement reflects the intense physical agony he endured during the crucifixion process. Crucifixion was a torturous method of execution, often accompanied by severe dehydration and exhaustion. Jesus, having endured hours of physical torment, experiences a profound thirst, further emphasizing the brutality of his ordeal. Symbolically, however, Jesus' thirst can be understood in spiritual terms as well. Throughout his ministry, Jesus often spoke of thirst metaphorically, using it to symbolize spiritual longing and the desire for fulfillment in God. In John's Gospel, Jesus describes himself as the living water that satisfies the deepest thirst of the human soul. In uttering, I thirst from the cross, Jesus not only acknowledges his physical suffering, but also reaffirms his identification with humanity's deepest needs and longings. His thirst becomes a poignant symbol of the spiritual thirst of humanity for reconciliation with God and the restoration of communion with the divine. Furthermore, Jesus' statement fulfills prophecy as it echoes the words of Psalm 69 verse 21, 
which is often interpreted messianically. Thus, even in his physical agony, Jesus' words carry profound spiritual significance, underscoring his role as the fulfillment of Old Testament prophecy and the embodiment of God's redemptive plan for humanity. The sixth statement attributed to Jesus on the cross, it is finished, mentioned in John 19 verse 30, encapsulates the culmination of Jesus' earthly mission and the fulfillment of God's plan of redemption for humanity. These three words hold profound significance, representing the completion of Jesus' sacrificial work on behalf of humanity. On a surface level, it is finished signifies the completion of Jesus' suffering and the imminent end of his earthly life. Having endured the agony of crucifixion and the weight of humanity's sin, Jesus declares that his mission has been accomplished. His work of atonement, reconciliation, and redemption is now finished, beyond the physical realm. However, Jesus' words carry deeper theological implications. It is finished signifies the fulfillment of Old Testament prophecies concerning the coming Messiah and the establishment of God's kingdom on earth. Jesus' sacrificial death on the cross serves as the ultimate and final sacrifice for the forgiveness of sins, thereby fulfilling the requirements of divine justice and opening the way for humanity's reconciliation with God. Moreover, it is finished represents a declaration of victory over sin, death, and the powers of darkness. Through his death and resurrection, Jesus triumphs over the forces of evil and secures salvation for all who believe in him. Thus, Jesus' statement on the cross serves as a proclamation of hope and assurance for believers, affirming the efficacy of his sacrifice and the certainty of eternal life in him. The seventh and final statement attributed to Jesus on the cross, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit, mentioned in Luke 23 verse 46, is a profound expression of trust, surrender, and communion with God in the face of death. In this moment, Jesus demonstrates unwavering faith and submission to the divine will, entrusting his spirit into the hands of his heavenly Father. By addressing God as Father, Jesus reaffirms his intimate relationship with God and his confidence in God's love and care. Despite the agony of crucifixion and the apparent abandonment he experienced earlier, Jesus maintains a deep sense of communion with the Father, affirming their unbreakable bond. Jesus' words echo the sentiments of Psalm 31 verse 5, which expresses trust in God's faithfulness and sovereignty, even in the midst of adversity. By quoting this psalm, Jesus identifies himself with the righteous sufferer whose ultimate refuge is found in God alone. Furthermore, Jesus' declaration serves as a model of faith and surrender for believers, inviting them to emulate his example of complete trust in God, even in the face of death. It reminds Christians that death is not the end, but a transition into the loving embrace of the Father. In essence, Jesus' final words on the cross encapsulate the culmination of his earthly ministry, affirming his victory over sin and death and offering assurance of eternal life to all who put their trust in him. As we close this exploration of Jesus Christ, let us remember that his story is not merely one of the past, but a timeless saga that continues to shape our world today. Whether through faith, scholarship, or curiosity, the figure of Jesus beckons us to delve deeper into the complexities of human existence and the mysteries of divine love. His teachings of compassion, forgiveness, and selflessness remain as relevant as ever, challenging us to strive for a more just and compassionate world. So let us carry the light of his legacy forward, ever seeking to embody the transformative power of love and grace. Dear Jesus disciples, I urge you to share this message of Jesus Christ's timeless teachings with your loved ones so its impact may resonate worldwide. Let us unite in spreading the message of compassion, forgiveness, and love, inspired by the life and words of Jesus. Together, we can sow the seeds of positive change, foster an understanding empathy, and hope in every corner of the globe. Embrace the opportunity to touch hearts and minds, inviting others to join us on this journey of faith and transformation. Together, let's illuminate the world with the enduring light of Christ's love. Share the message today. God bless you all. Amen.